if Ross is taking this angle, then man, 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 when when, when that when Dot come, <laughs> oh my God, this is about to be crazy. Joe Budden and DJ Academics react to the whole Drake releasing his diss song and Rick Ross responding straight away. This is Fresh Hip Hop Opinion with your guy Olize. Don't forget to subscribe. So, people, I know you're buzzing. Hip hop's on fire. This songs are back. Conflict, no more kumbaya. Rappers who once were best friends are now exchanging disses. If you don't know, Drake dropped his Drop and Give Me 50 diss song aimed at a slew of rappers such as Rick Ross and Kendrick Lamar. And the whole internet was shaking. We're still not fully confirmed whether it's actually a real song or not. But the whole world was kind of going crazy, like, yo, buzzing, basically. And then Rick Ross replied with his own diss song, Champagne Moments, aimed at Drake. It was so-so. I mean, Drake's one was harder. But no one was more buzzing more than academics. Obviously, he's a big fan of Drake. He went live straight away, and he spoke to Joe Budden while he was live. Check out the clip, what they were saying. Hey, Joe. Joe, I know. Your heart is going to hurt over what... Oh. Wow. Hello? I I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Wow. He responded... I, I heard that. He responded in two hours. <laughs> I know you wasn't outside, but this is what it used to feel like. And congratulations on you being the mixtape right now. You're the mixtape. You're the DJ crew right now. This is big. Holy shit. I don't know what to say. Yo, Ross really responded in two hours. I said that it was going to get like this when Ross jumped into this. Did, did you hear like, the French Montana tea? Hey, the pod we did yesterday was classic, but I might have to come back in again. We might have to just do it again before the week is over. It's going down. I saw Elliot say that, that we got together too soon, but I think that makes it more classic what we did but we might have to get together again because I, I think something else drops before I get back to work oh man this is Rick Ross saying we all made you yeah. a lot and all the people that just stamped Drake and Wayne and Baby and Houston and you got a nose job. you don't want to be black you don't, don't that was cap that was cap I don't care I don't care if it was Cap because we know that Drake got some other procedures done. So, I mean, it's still funny. But the point is this. If Ross is taking this angle, then man, man, man. When, when, when that, when Dot come, <laughs> oh my God, this is about to be crazy. Yeah, fam. See, academics was going crazy. I understand. I, I ain't gonna lie. I was smiling. I was watching this live when it was live. But they believe it's going to be uh, like a World War Five in hip-hop, you know? Because obviously there's going to be more disses. And what Rick Ross kind of exposed is the reason why he fell out with Drake. Which is because Drake sent a cease and desist to French Montana. So will we see a, a diss song from French Montana now? I doubt that. He's not, that's not his style. But all of a sudden, hip-hop went from all, everybody gets along collaborating and then just recently there's little fractures now there's little camps there's like whoa but really it's all against drake it's not like there's different camps like back in the day rough riders bad boy like all that stuff having issues it's literally these rappers don't like drake but i am not gonna lie i'm here for it hip-hop needs this competitive music people dissing as long as it doesn't spill out into the streets it's all good but people, I want to know what you 